howdy y'all, it's Kate from The Lifestyle Lady. Welcome back to my blog or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, glad you could join me. Today I'm talking about, very briefly, about some empties that I've had. If you're new and you don't want my empties about, my empties videos are products I've used to completely empty. So generally they're products that I love, but we'll discover whether I did or I didn't. So let's dig in. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this. So this is focusing. This is by First Aid Beauty. It is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy Overnight Balm. Now, without doubt, without question, the one question I get asked the most on this blog or on my YouTube channel or by anyone who emails me is about eye cream. Predominantly with, with women around my age and what can I do to stop the puffiness, to stop me looking so tired, I'm worried about fine lines. Eye cream, eye cream, eye cream. I think it's one of the most cream. difficult questions to answer mainly because I am yet to find something that blows me away. And if you followed me for a while, you will know, I will not recommend or suggest something unless I love it, and that's what I'm committed to. So I read somewhere that this was great, I tried it. It didn't blow me away, but it was one of the better eye creams I tried. I think it's fairly reasonable, it's probably middle range. I think it was probably around 20-ish dollars. I want to say. I believe you can get these in the UK and the United States and across Europe. Um, they're a pretty well-known brand. I will say this, it wasn't staggering, but it wasn't rubbish. So it's a, I would call this a steady eddy performer. It's a good solid B. So if you're not using anything and you come across this, please start with it. But I don't want to highly recommend it because I'm on the hunt for something better for y'all. Next is a lifestyle lady love, a lifestyle, lifestyle lady must, and it is this. It's the it's by the brand Aven. They are French and I love them. And this one is their mask scrub. It's a clearance mask. Well, I don't use it like a mask. I use it first thing in the morning as a uh, exfoliating cleanser. There are several things I love about this. One of the things I most love about it is it is a fairly gentle exfoliator by which <laughs> but it is not so gentle that I don't feel like it's having any impact on my skin but it but it has and the grit that it has in it although there's not lots of it it's firm enough that it feels like it's making a difference some of my issues with some gentle exfoliators are that they're kind of so soft I don't feel like they're making any impact on my skin now desperately in the summertime I find in the mornings I want an exfoliator because I feel like my skin needs number one to be woken up and number two I want to ensure that I have removed everything I mean I double cleanse at night but I want to make sure that everything's gone you know you're applying particularly in the summer months you are applying sunscreen and goodness knows all the layers of things to your skin as well expo as exposing it to so many different elements that this has been an absolute godsend and I've been using I'm going to use it through the fall and the winter I think it's going to be a permanent part of my routine I don't think I've got, I mean this tells you I don't think I've got anything left in it and it's like just like a slightly gray cream exfoliator I use a very small amount I, I dampen my face and I really give it a scrub I am so making me scrub make my myself I am very careful about it I don't use it around the eye area I'm incredibly gentle as I use it because I don't want to cause any more redness in my face but I do feel it gives me a good wake up and it's a great cleanse in the morning so okay next I want to talk about this by Peter Thomas Roth it is his Max Complexion Correction Pads. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've been suffering with milia. Uh, some people call them milk spots. I don't know, I've heard lots of terms. They are just like little white heads here. Um, I think it's where my sunglasses don't quite protect and I get a build up anyway, but oh, TMI. So I've been slightly changing my skincare to deal with it and someone has suggested this, these Max Complexion pads mainly because they contain salicylic acid and glycolic acid and honestly I hadn't really been using acids in my skincare and acids just makes you freak right um, and these were a really good way of introducing them into your system and have it making sure that you're toning and closing your pores afterwards uh, toning is so important it's so important um, I like Peter Thomas Roth his his masks are amazing and these were great they're so handy because sometimes you worry about how much product to add to a cotton bud or whatever else what I love about these was you just whip one out cleaned your face and threw it away and great for hygiene so I'm gonna talk about this this is not a new thing to me it's Sunday Riley good jeans I will say that um, I find that I'm using 
less of that recently I think just because I've had a change in my skincare and I'll probably do an update video on that this is this is a lactic acid but I do generally use it still probably once or twice a week and there is an absolute benefit for this again if you are new to acids and you want to introduce um, small small amounts of acid in a kind of gentle formula Sunday Riley is a really good place to start she is on the she is quite expensive but like anything um, in many circles of beauty you get what you pay for not always and finally, I have a BB cream by Maybelline. It is their Maybelline Dream BB Pure 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Clearing Perfector. Now, if you're looking for a BB cream or a CC cream or from the drugstore, this is a really good, this is a pretty darn good one. I think the colour, if I remember rightly, the colours, they didn't have a great range of colours, but uh, that may have changed. I remember buying this because it contained salicylic acid and at the time I was concerned about my milia. And so um, that was a big pull for me. I have still got a tiny bit left. It has a fairly good pigmentation. It blends in nicely. Very little fragrance. It was a very good workhorse from the drugstore. So a very small empties video. If you're new to my channel and you thought, oh wow, lots of those empties were skincare, you will notice that I'm a bit of a skincare junkie. I'm a big believer in getting your skin right and then you need less makeup. Don't get me wrong, I love makeup, I'm a makeup junkie like the rest of us, but I re I'm a big believer in getting your skin right. And so uh, you will find that I have lots of empties for skincare because I think that's very important. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you watch me on my blog, please head over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. If you're if you're new, you found me on YouTube and you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are watching me on YouTube and you want to go over to thelifestylelady.com, you'd be very welcome. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Ta-ta for now.